Hello crochet friends, welcome to Crazy Cool Crochet. This is Sylvia and in this project we are going to be working on this crochet lightweight long cardigan and this comes with a bonus, a matching scarf which is designed as an accessory, extra long. The materials we will be using is a number two yarn which is considered lightweight. The crochet hook is an F as in Frank or a 3.75 millimeter. We will also need scissors, measuring tape, and the yarn needle. Now I do encourage you to watch the video all the way through. I often leave suggestions and tips along the way that might come in handy at the beginning. Watching the video all the way through is also a really great way for those who would like to support my work in addition to subscribing and watching my other videos, giving a thumbs up to the projects that you like. All of this is super helpful and I appreciate your help so very much. Let's go ahead and get started. Now what I would like to do first is show you the completed back panel and this is worked going this way, but it will be worn. We would turn this around so that this is the shoulder and neck area and this is the bottom. So for sizing, the length will be determined by the foundation chain and I will give you those numbers in a little bit. And then the width will be determined by how many sets, I'm calling this, of the different stitches are worked. So generally speaking, we would add an extra set of the stitches. More detail regarding sizing will be available at the blog, crazycoolcrochet.com. And I do leave links for the blog, my Etsy shop, the different social media links, uh, all kinds of other detail regarding materials and how much is used. A, a lot of that information is below in the description area that you have to open up manually in the white space below the video. Okay, now to show you a little bit more of the detail, we start with a couple of rows of single crochet and then we do a few rows of a mesh stitch and then we do extended single crochet rows with regular single crochet rows in between. And then back to the mesh, back to the extended single crochets and regular single crochets. So those are the sets, the mesh and the extended single crochets. I will be calling that a set. And then we end with a few rows of single crochet for a little border. So remember, we are working this way. We will wear it this way. Isn't that pretty? Now we are working with a multiple of two plus one. So for size small, we do a foundation chain of 147, and that will give me a length 36 inches long. So from the shoulder to the bottom, remember the shoulder will be over here, so we're working it long ways. So 36 inches, which keep in mind, I am quite short. So I'm calling this a size small for myself. However, you will choose your foundation chain according to the length that you want. And I will be working with a swatch rather than the full panel, just to give you instruction on the various stitches. So we will start with the chain the foundation chain, and then a row of single crochet starting with the second chain from the hook. Do not include the loop on the hook. There's one, there's two. Just do a regular single crochet in each chain across. Then you will chain one and turn, and do one more row of single crochet starting in that very first stitch, or the very first space,
and single crochet in each at the end of that row chain four and turn now we're going to work four rows of the mesh stitch so we're going to skip that very first space and the second space and now slip stitch into the next space chain three now we'll skip the next two spaces slip stitch into the next and chain three and continue that across the row skip the next two slip stitch into the next chain three now you've got two spaces remaining slip stitch into the last and now this is crucial so for the mesh rows you will enter another slip stitch into the turning chain below and then you'll chain four now the purpose of that last little stitch there is to keep the edge even otherwise for the mesh stitches or the mesh rows it will go very crooked on you so you need that last little slip stitch into the turning chain and then turn and now we're going to slip stitch into the big space under those chains slip stitch chain three slip stitch into the next large space chain three and continue entering slip stitches into each chain three space and you are going under the space not into any of the chains okay now at the end of your row slip stitch into that last chain three space and now slip stitch into the turning chain below chain four and then repeat that row twice more after the fourth row of the mesh the end of the row chain three and turn now we're going to work a row of extended single crochets okay so we're working into that first chain three space enter your hook as if for a single crochet pull up for two loops on the hook pull through one loop now you've got two loops on the hook again pull through both loops that is an extended single crochet chain one in the next chain three space do that again two loops on the hook pull through the first loop pull through both loops do a second extended single crochet in the same space pull through the first loop pull through both loops chain one then do that again two extended single crochets in each chain three space don't forget the chain one after the two extended single crochets now in the last chain three space work your two extended single crochets and now work one more into the turning chain now we're going to chain one and turn now we're going to work a row of single crochet in each stitch start your single crochet in there the next single crochet in the next stitch the next single crochet in the chain one space single crochet into the next stitch single crochet into the next single crochet in the chain one space and continue across you've got two extended single crochets 
So you're entering a single crochet in each one and then one in between. Now this needs to work out to the same number of stitches that you started with. Okay, so for my panel was 146 single crochet. So then this row of single crochet should work out to 146 when you get to the end. And then the last one goes into that space. Then chain two. Now we're going to work another row of extended single crochet. This will be a little bit different from the one we just did. Okay, so skip that very first space next to the turning chain and enter your extended single crochet into the next space. Two loops on the hook, pull through the first loop, pull through both loops, chain one. Now skip the next space, extended single crochet into the next space. Chain one, skip one. Chain one, skip one, all the way across the row. At the end of the row, you've got two stitches left. Skip the one, enter into the last, and then enter another one, no chain in between. Enter another extended single crochet in the turning chain. Chain one, and turn. And now we work another row of single crochet. Work the last one in that last space. Chain two, turn. Now we'll repeat that extended single crochet row. Skip that first space, start into the next. Chain one, skip one. Chain one, skip one, just like we did before. So at the end of the row, enter your last, enter a sing, extended single crochet into that last stitch, and then one more into the turning chain. Chain one turn, and another row of single crochet. Just remember when you are doing your single crochet rows, they will always be the same count. That's what you started with. Now one more row of the extended single crochet and one more row of single crochet. So that we end up with four rows of the mesh, four of the extended single crochet, four of the single crochet. At the end of your last single crochet row, chain four and turn. Okay, so that completes a set. Not counting those two single crochet rows at the beginning. So the sets are the mesh and then the combination of extended single crochet and single crochet rows. So that's a set. So now we're going to start another set with the mesh row. Okay, so you skip that first space, skip the next, slip stitch into the next. chain three. Skip the next two, slip stitch into the next, chain three, and do that across. When you get to the end, slip stitch into the last, Slip stitch into the turning chain. Chain four. Now slip stitch into each of the chain three spaces. Slip stitch, chain three. Oops. Slip stitch chain three. I don't know why I'm having trouble with that. 
all the way across. In the last space, slip stitch, and then slip stitch into the turning chain, chain four, and repeat. So go back to the part of the video tutorial where it picks up again. You'll just continue working the rows. So for the completed panel, for the size small, I did three sets. Okay, so the first set, the second, the third. And then I finished off with four rows of the single crochet, regular single crochet in each space. Okay, so you'll do your last row of extended single crochet and then one more row of the single crochet to complete the set and then three more rows of single crochet and that gives you a little border. Say so look at it this way. This is how we are wearing it. Up there is a shoulder so this will be the center and this will be the border. And then over here will be the second panel. So make two of these exactly the same. Now for the back panel, we do it exactly the same as the front panel. The only difference is how many sets we work. Okay, so we start the foundation row the same. So for this particular size, it was a chain of 147, and then I end up with 146 single crochets. So the two rows of the single crochet, and then you start the mesh, and then extended single crochet and single crochet rows for your sets. For the size small, I worked seven sets. And then I ended with only two rows of the single crochet to match where we started with the two rows. So for those last two rows, you do the last row of single crochet for that set after the extended single crochet row, your single crochet row, and then one more single crochet row so that this matches the other side. So that's it. We've got the back panel, the two front panels. Now we need some sleeves. Now for the sleeves, we are working a panel of only extended single crochets. That makes it nice and easy. Now mine worked out to a length of 17 inches, maybe a little more, and you need to allow four, about a three inch drop sleeve. So once you put all your panels together and you've got your shoulder, let's pretend this is the shoulder. Okay, so your shoulder will end about here. There's the center and then this will drop down as part of the sleeve. Okay, so the 17 inch sleeve sounds very short but you need to allow for that additional drop sleeve. Okay, so once again, I'm just going to show you a swatch. Okay, so we're going to start with a chain of 51. And keep in mind, the design for this entire lightweight cardigan is meant to be slim, a little on the trim side. Okay, so the cardigan itself is a little bit on the trim side, slim side, and then so are the sleeves. So when we fold this over, the sleeve is meant to be not snug, but definitely not a wider sleeve. You know, you can work your foundation chain and then wrap that around your upper arm because that'll be the larger area. And if you decide it's 
too slim, maybe too tight, and go ahead and continue your foundation row, working with the multiple of two plus one. So for myself, this is about 12 inches wide. When you fold it over, it'll be six inches wide this way. But of course the circumference is the 12 inches. So now you will work one row of single crochet and then chain two and turn. And now we'll start our extended single crochet. So I'll skip that very first space there, enter extended single crochet into the next space. Chain one, skip a space, extended single crochet in the next. Chain one, skip a space, and continue across. Enter the last extended single crochet into the last space. So you skip the space, enter your last extended single crochet, chain two, turn, and now work an extended single crochet into that very first one. chain one, extended single crochet into the next extended single crochet below, chain one, and enter into the next extended single crochet, chain one, and continue across. Enter the last extended single crochet into the last extended single crochet of that row below. Chain two, turn, and repeat, starting in the first one. So you will just continue that for the entire panel. So work it for the length that you want, or for those who are more comfortable counting rows, the one for the size small. The panel was 50 rows, five zero. After your last row of the sleeve, chain one and turn. Now we are going to work one row of single crochet decreases all the way across. And that is so that we start to tighten up the bottom of the sleeve so it's not wide. If you prefer to leave the sleeve as is, then you can just stop right here, tie off the yarn. If you want to close up the bottom a little bit, then continue with these decreases. Okay, so you enter into the first space as a for a single crochet for two loops on the hook. Enter the hook into the next space, which is that chain one space. You've got three loops on the hook, pull through all three. Now that's a single crochet decrease. So you've taken two single crochets and combined it into one. Now go right into the next two spaces. Okay, so start your single crochet for two loops on the hook, go into the next space, pull up the yarn for three loops on the hook, pull through all three. Continue all the way across. Now you can see how that tightened up a little bit. Now what I should clarify, if you decided you didn't want to tighten it up and you wanted to leave the sleeve open, then finish off with a row of single crochet. That will give you a nicer finish. Okay, so let me show you. If you ended with just the extended single crochet and you didn't close it up, then it looks a little bit unfinished. So go ahead and add a row of single crochets just to finish that off. Okay, so when you're done, 
with your decreases at the end, just tie off the yarn, cut it off. Now for the scarf, this is only three inches wide. That is by design. This is meant to be an accessory. It's not a scarf meant for warmth. It's purely an accessory. So three inches is plenty wide. And for that I started with a chain of 15, one five, and worked exactly the same as for the sleeves where it's only rows of extended single crochet. So work it to whatever length you want. For myself, the intent was to have a super long scarf. And that way you can just wear it around the neck and hanging down the front nice and long. Or you can wrap it around the neck the one time and still have it hanging fairly long. Now let's start working on seaming the back panel and one of the front panels. Okay, so this is the back panel. This is the right side facing up. There's the tail from the foundation chain. There's the foundation chain. So that makes this the right side. Now for the front panel, make sure that you've got your center border situated correctly. Okay, so now we want right sides touching each other, wrong sides are facing up. Okay, so there's the tail from the foundation chain. That would be the right side. So we'll be seaming the shoulder, and this would be the center. So we'll turn this around. So this would be the shoulder edge or the armhole, and over here is the center. Working with the yarn needle and a length of yarn, I'm going to be working with a whip stitch. So just enter the yarn needle into the cornermost stitches of both panels. I always tie the end just to make it more secure. And then you will be going around. Okay, so enter under two stitches on each panel. So just keep going across the top of that shoulder. So just keep going across. And then when you get to the end, just come back a few stitches to weave it in, tie it off. And do the other side. Now after the shoulders are seamed, right there, we will seam the sleeve to the body. So I've taken a stitch marker, marked the center of the top of the sleeve. It's just a scrap piece of yarn. And then matched it up to the shoulder seam, centered like that. And then you just whip stitch along the same here, the same way as you did on the shoulder. And then do the other side. Okay, the next thing to do is to seam the sides and under the arm. So I generally start along the bottom and work my way up. Then of course do the other side and then we'll work on a little border on the bottom. Okay, here is the finished cardigan. Now the one thing I am going to give a suggestion about the neck. So it turned out to be quite narrow. It still fits fine. 
no problem with the fit. But if you're uncomfortable, if yours turns out that narrow and you don't feel comfortable with that, you want more space, then all you need to do is on the back panel, add either another set of the mesh and the single crochet, extended single crochet stitches. And that might give you too much wiggle room though, however. So maybe just add another set of the extended single crochet and the single crochet stitches on the back panel. And that will give you a wider neck opening at the back. But like I said, this is completely, totally wearable. It's fine. Now the finishing on the bottom. So I added one single crochet row along the bottom. Okay, so I would have, I had it turned around like this. Okay, that's the bottom, that's the center. Just enter the hook into the very corner with a chain and then single crochet, one in each space, evenly spaced all the way across. And that's all there is to it, just one row is all you need. And that gives you a nice finished edge. So just go all the way around. When you meet back to the other center, enter your last single crochet, tie off the yarn, leave a tail, and weave in the tail. And of course weave in the tails all throughout. And that will be it for your finished crochet lightweight cardigan. And don't forget to add the scarf. The scarf will be the absolute finishing touch. Aren't these stitches gorgeous? And it's so light because it's a number two. Now, don't forget to subscribe. That would be awesome. I would appreciate that so much. And we'll see you on the next project.